We are here in the pitch darkness. Well, it's pretty light up right now because, well, it's pretty lit up because uh, these Baja lights. So we're going to be using my bike with uh, Peanut's bike. <laughs> Wait, I got, I, got, I got a little surprise for y'all. Got a little surprise. What's up? Cause I'm your lady. You're my man. <laughs> Cause I'm your lady. Yeah. What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're going to be talking about the Baja LP6s that I got on my 2021 Rogue Glide Special. But before we dive into the whole footage of the nighttime and comparing it to the stock light, I just want to give you guys a little bit more information about the light because I get asked a lot of questions. So hopefully I can answer some of them right now. We'll start with the first one. Are they really hard to put on? They're not hard to put on. They're just really annoying because you got to take apart the whole fairing. Uh, you got to take off the tank, take off the seat to run the wires from the front uh, down the frame to the battery and just a few little things you got to do in there. Um, but on that, I got to tell you guys some good news. I'm actually installing a pair most likely next week or this week coming up on Peanuts bike. So it's going to be a step by step process on how to do it because there is no video out there on how to do it when i did mine we just kind of just started playing with it and one thing led to another the lights were on there topic number two which i'm constantly being asked why is there a yellow one and why is there a white one number one is preference so you have a choice you can either do two white two amber or one amber one white like i have here i chose this just because it just looks super badass that way. Number three, does that amber light actually do something different as opposed to the white one? Yes, there's a certain reason why you see amber yellow lights on service vehicles, um, on, especially on the highway, is because the amber lights actually make it much easier for you to look in the foggy weather and snow weather. It just, for some reason, just clears everything up a bit more. It, it just does. Um, so yeah, am I gonna be in a snowstorm? Hopefully not, I mean, whatever uh and then foggy obviously we all do have foggy days here and there and then especially on those rain days actually helps out a lot more so that is one of the reasons why i got the amber as well a bit more helpful and number two actually it helps out a lot more now these are the baja lp6s so they're six inches there's actually smaller ones but these are the most popular ones these are the ones you're going to need for your road glide LP6s. Um, I've seen guys doing the smaller ones on the older roguelite uh, fairings because the, the spacing is smaller. Now, each of these six inch lights has a total output of 10,300 lumens. That's bright. That's really bright. And you're going to see in the video when we compare it to the stock light. This includes dedicated peripheral lighting, which is on both sides of the white one, both sides of the amber one as well. So it kind of shoots out a lot. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you a 200 degree spread as well. So it's going to be super ideal for wide cornering, especially at night time. The lights are also submersible up to about nine feet or so. So if you for some reason end up in a light shallow swamp, you're you're good. Anyways, that was all the information that I had to give you right before I showed you the actual footage. Hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully if you do have any interest in these lights, you can get a pair. They are a bit pricey though. So each one is gonna cost you 400 and something. Then you're gonna buy the bracket, which a few other companies out there make them. And then besides the bracket, you also need to buy the harness, the wiring harness. So it could run you anywhere from 1400 to 1700, depending where and who you're getting your parts from. Let's get over to the night footage. Really quick. I'm gonna show you guys. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut my lights off and sorry about the whole darkness. I'm gonna shut my lights off and I'm gonna show you what. Well, let's shut both of the lights off and then we'll turn Peanut's bike on, show you how everything illuminates in the back, and then compare it to the uh, Baja lights. Right, turn it. Yeah, turn it on. All right, so pitch dark. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the uh, the rogue light on. So that's Peanuts stock lights. All right, turn yours off. Now these are the Baja lights. 
And that's on low beam. Right. We'll do the high beam. Jeez. Now turn yours on. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> you really see no I difference. Know you really see no difference. Turn yours off. Nothing. <laughs> Insane. I don't even know if the camera's picking up how bright they really are. No, I can't. I mean, in the dark right now, it, you really can't tell. And I know a lot of you guys right now are, are going to be asking, like you guys always ask, why is there one yellow? Why is there one white? Number one, it just looks cool. Number two, the yellow lights actually, for in case you're in a snowstorm, if you're out riding in the snow, or if it's uh, foggy, yellow lights actually clear everything up much more so that's the reason why rescue cars and rescue trucks all have these amber yellow lights on them not the baja lights but reason being that is the main reason right there uh, but these things look absolutely amazing we're actually going to be doing an install video on peanuts bike next week so tune in for that it's going to be a step-by-step -step because last time me and this guy it was too much in a rush yeah it, it was you know what let's just start putting stuff together and we ended up putting it all together but it's going to be a step-by-step -step video on how to install the Baja lights on your road glide. So tune in for that video. Uh, that should be a nice little doozy. A few other things coming up. And we got some cars here coming up as well. Any last words, sir? Everybody have a good night. Now, there's also going to be some pros and cons for these lights. If you're going to be driving in the dark, the incoming traffic is going to hate you. The traffic ahead of you is gonna hate you. The traffic to the side of you is gonna hate you as well. So being that it has a 200 degree, it kind of shoots out this light right from the side. So anyone driving right next to you is gonna get kind of beamed in the face as well. So no one's gonna wanna drive next to you, A. Hey, whoever's driving ahead of you is gonna hate you because everything's just being beamed at them. Um, so with that, there's also some pros because mainly what I've seen lately is that whoever's driving ahead of me kind of shifts over to the lane and they kind of let me go on my merry way. They, they don't want to be behind you when these lights are shining at them, which to me is kind of a pro. Now, your buddies are not going to want to ride ahead of you because you're going to be blinding them and they're going to want to be turning their mirrors upside down or just away from the light shining at them. So you're most likely gonna be leading the pack. Also, give people a little heads up when you're about to turn on your bike because you're gonna be blinding people and especially when you get on your bike and you're gonna just sit there and put your gear on or whatever it is where your lights on and people are gonna be around anywhere. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna be so happy with you. Anyways, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said before, if you are in the market for these, I highly recommend them. They're really, really really dope i paid for these with my hard and cash so they weren't given to me but i can honestly say they are amazing i'm really really happy with my purchase they do the job they look good they definitely make your bike stand out once again no 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 pun intended like always if you like to see this type of content you're definitely in the right place go ahead like comment subscribe hit that bell button as i'll notify you anytime i upload any type of new content like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby Peace.